Hi everyone, welcome to Gon's Keyboard Works. Today I'm gonna show you how I solder a PCB with a preheater, soldering iron, and a hot air rework station. So the first step is to add to add flux on the soldering pads on the PCB. Well I use I prefer to using a brush but if you are if you feel free to use other way you can do it just this is my way then I'm gonna I'm gonna add a solder on this other pads use with this spatula tip I'm adding I'm adding solder on the tip well clean once then add it again okay okay I did it then for MCU okay finished and the last one is for crystal and its load capacitors okay all done you see it all the soldering pad will now covered with solder. I use a a PB free solder, non unleaded solder. So I will have to use a higher temperature than when I use a ordinary solder, leaded solder. Then I'm gonna add flux once more before I placing the parts on the PCB without adding more solder I mean adding more flux the parts will not be soldered properly it will have cracks on solder joints okay now let me place the parts on, on it Well, the order to, to place parts on the places on the PCB is not fixed. Well, you can do it as you want. Well, as I told you, I'm gonna do it as I want. I'm placing transistors. This board is very up to date keyboard PCB just came out yesterday I got this yesterday this supports USB and PS2 combo and full LED tuning well it needs three transistors and two genodiodes I'm going to place two journal diodes here. Oh, it pops. Okay. Now the next step is for registers. And load capacitors for crystal here in this board I will use 18 picofarad 
capacitors for is crystal. Well, when you place a crystal, crystal has, if you flip, flip down the crystal, you will see four paths. And the paths have a, has a direction. One of the paths has a different shape. But, you know, crystals, SMD crystals, don't have direction. Just place it as you want. Just be careful when you place oscillators. Oscillators have do have directions, but just crystals don't. Well, I, I'll place it as I want. Any direction is okay. Well, now I'm gonna place other, other registers. 68 ohms. 268 ohms and 1.5 kilo ohms one 1.5 1.5 kilo ohms and two two registers for indicator LEDs caps lock and num lock okay capacitors another capacitors now a bigger capacitors well, when I design a board, well, this board is not designed by me, but when I design a board, I use, I use a 0805 chip parts or bigger, because I think 0805 is the smallest that I can read the numbers on it without any magnifier or any microscope. Now the place left is for MCU. Well, as you well know, MCU has a direction. So I have first I have to find which one is pin number one, which direction, which which one, which place, which which corner is indicating the pin number one. So I I, I found the circle marked on it. This direction is correct. To save time, I pre-flashed the MCU. So, if I if I finish the soldering the parts, this board this board itself will work. So now I'm placing it on the preheater. Between the board and the preheater nozzle, there should be a proper spacing. So I use omnivices from Hakko. Uh, placing a nozzle, hot air nozzle on it. Okay, now it's time to press the start button. It turned on. There comes out the hot air from the hot air station and from the preheater. I use a Hako FR803B because it 
it has a functionality of profiling. Profiling means stepped, uh, stepped temperature control. The a profile has a three step stage. First step, it increases the temperature to a certain degree, then it retains the degree, and then the, at the third step, the, the temperature will go up higher. In this step, the actual soldering will occur. Uh, but in my case, the nozzle cannot cover all the parts on the PCB. You see, there is a there is some excluded parts. So I'm gonna solder it manually with this hot air pencil. This pencil is connected to FM two o six rework station. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna solder the the excluded part. At the third stage, in which the actual soldering occurs. Well, I have to wait for a while more. Mm, I have a about 15 seconds left for the third st stage. Okay, it's time. Okay, well, it's done. When the third step finishes, the machine, the, the station will automa automatically cool down. Now, the heater, heater is in pre-heater and in the hot air rework station is turned off. But the, the air the air continually comes out so that it can cool down the board and the parts on the PCB. It's the air temperature from the hot air reward station is now 165 Celsius. When it comes down to 100, the machine will automatically Turn off the air. Well, it's almost finished. Uh, because I use a lead free solder I cannot do this without a regular hot air stations I I must have a profiled profiled I, I must have a station with a profile profiling functionality okay it's done let me check let me check it it all soldered well I think it's 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 done well I, I'm gonna I should check it with a magnifier to look closely and clearly well it's time to solder USB connector the connector used here is not 
a SMD type is a deep type so I have to solder it manually with a soldering iron okay first I have to clean the soldering iron tip to avoid bridging when I soldering well today I'm not I'm not using a air purifier but if you if when you when you solder the parts with a soldering iron and a solder wire you have to protect yourself I mean you have to wear protective glasses and have to have to get rid of the harmful air harmful fume from from soldering I'm not going to turn them on because that the air purifier makes a lot of noise so you will not be able to hear my voice clearly well I've done it so now <clears throat> the last step is just to check whether it functions normally or not well it functions perfectly okay good if your board is not function here you will have to check the solder joints if there is a bad soldering joints the the electricity will not pass through so the circuit will be will be uh, I mean the the circuit will not be connected so the board will not work so for me it functions well as I intended so it's now finished this is how I solder parts on the board with a hot air station and with a hot air preheater so thank you for showing oh Thank you for watching. See you next time.